My name is Rita Braver. I am a national correspondent for the CBS News broadcast Sunday morning. I cover everything from politics and foreign policy to cultural affairs, trends, and celebrity profiles sometimes. And I'm Robert Barnett. I'm a senior partner at the law firm of Williams and Connolly in Washington, D.C. I asked her to marry me my, on our first date. She said no. Mm -hmm. I asked again five years later. <laughs> she said yes. I took courses in many different departments. On the political science side, I feel like the best course I ever took was one on the subject of all things of intrasystemic subversion, meaning that when you go into an organization and work in that organization, don't just look to be a little cog in that organization. Learn how the entire organization works, and then once you're inside, if you think it needs to be corrected, if it needs to be made better, you can do it. Take things that allow you to learn to research, to write, and to speak and advocate. We have so many people who come for jobs, who've gone through law school, actually, who can't write. And we have so many people who can't articulate a position. And that's important whether you're a litigation lawyer or you're just a person working in a store. Um, I would say something about my husband that he's too modest to say, and one of the things that I think people don't realize at a place like Wisconsin, which is such a wonderful atmosphere and so much fun, is that you need to really get good grades. My husband got the jobs that he got because he was Phi Beta Kappa at the University of Wisconsin. He was at the top of his class at the University of Chicago Law School. You don't get a Supreme Court law, uh, law clerkship if you haven't done really, really well. So don't waste your money here if you're not going to take it seriously. Everybody's got a different story about how they got the job. In most cases, it took persistence. Find out who makes the decisions in that organization. Send that person a separate letter and a copy of your resume. Let them know you really want the job and you're willing to do it. Let them know that you are willing to work on weekends and at night. Um, those are th reasons that people hire. But I will tell you, I have worked for CBS News for 40 years. I am a senior correspondent. I still work nights. I still work weekends. I still get drafted on holidays. You've got to be prepared to sacrifice a certain level of your personal life for certain jobs. Uh, when I came to CBS News, I immediately wanted to learn about the whole organization. And so I tried to do my job, which was really just answering phones and figuring out where to send news crews. But I would ask correspondents in my, their off hours if I could go on assignments with them so I could watch. The teachers who I got to know, and in a big school, it's still possible, at the University of Wisconsin, and the people I work for in the summer, helped me get into law school. The professors in law school who I worked with and the people who I work for in the summer helped me get the clerkship. And then one judge helped me get the next one and then I went off to do something different. So in, at each level, you try, again, as Rita says, without passing the obnoxiousness line, to impress people and gain people uh, who will support you. I would hate to see college uh, not be a generally a four-year experience because I feel like the things that you learn in school, along with the specific academic subjects that you take, uh, expand your point of view, make you kind of a better citizen of the world, give you a richer life, make you more interested in helping other people. And one of the good things about the University of Wisconsin is there's always been this sort of public service idea. Uh, especially even within the state. You know, the boundaries of the university are the boundaries of the state. The idea that knowledge in and of itself is a good thing. And I feel like going to school in a place like that was, it's not something you can put a dollar value on, but it's something that has made my life really different.